Hi, Pinepot here, and welcome to my second episode of Climbing the Curve. Today we're going to take a look at the Combat Medic. Though one of the two supporting classes, along with the Engineer, the Combat Medic is not at all pigeonholed into a non-combat role. Though from a combat perspective, they lack the raw staying power of the Heavy Assault, the mobility of the Light Assault, or the stealth features of the Infiltrator, they have several properties which make up for this. The principal one being their primary weapon, the Assault Rifle. Assault rifles are, in my opinion, the best small arms weapons in the game. They are more accurate than carbines, a stock weapon of light assaults and engineers. They have much better hip fire than light machine guns, a stock weapon of heavy assaults, and their raw damage output of pretty much across all distances is superior to the other classes' weapons. So it should come as no surprise that my two favourite weapons in the game, the Carnage BR and the GR22, are both assault rifles. Now in terms of their role as a medic, they have two key tools. The first, and by far the most critical, is the medical applicator, their healing device. This allows them to top up the health of other players, and most critically, to resurrect players who have been killed. When assaulting, continuous pressure can be maintained by a constantly resurrected force. In turn, defences can become absolute brick walls with the support of a few medics. Resurrecting is an absolute game changer, and when you're just starting, it's the class which is most likely to make a material difference to your side. Now you can see from the footage that my side, the NC, were in the process of destroying an enemy deployed Sunderer. Now plenty of soldiers went down in the attack, but rather than having to resurrect back at our nearest base, we can maintain the momentum of the attack by just resurrecting all the fallen soldiers. Once they're all back up, we can continue our attack and press on to the next base. Which brings me to the other point where the combat medic is a very good class to start off with. The combat medic is the easiest class to get experience from and therefore get cert points with. Cert points being the currency you can use to improve your character. Now the base amount of experience you get from killing enemy players is 100. But resurrecting each player gives you, depending on the level of your medical tool, up to 100 experience. Especially given when you just started the game, it's a little harder to get consistent kills. Running around with a medical tool, resurrecting everyone, is the best way to quickly rack up experience. Now the final ability is an AoE heal. It is activated by pressing the F key and can also heal yourself, unlike the medical tool. When activated, it puts a green glow around yourself and those around you. Now these abilities aside, it is also important to remember you are a support class. Hit and run tactics, jumping out of cover, putting some shots in and then running back into it, work best with this class. That way if any of your allies go down in the fight, you're still around to resurrect them. Or top them up if they take some damage. In this way, you can slowly whittle down a superior force, even if they're killing more of your side than you are of them. The important thing is not to overcommit. The assault rifle, with its incredibly high damage per second, lends itself to quickly attacking round corners and getting back while still in safety. In this way, you can support your side in terms of combat, but also be around to resurrect them as they fall. An assault supported by two or three medics can almost continuously resurrect fallen soldiers. This alone makes the medics pretty much the most important component of any assault. Another bonus to the medal class is that upgrading your medical tool, at least for the initial levels, is incredibly cheap. This means that for a relatively modest investment you can have a highly competitive medic in almost no time. Therefore I strongly recommend picking up the medic early in the game. It will give you experience learning to handle the guns with pretty much the best ones in the game. It gives a strong and steady income of cert points from resurrecting other players, as there's certainly no shortage of people dying in this game. And perhaps most importantly, it gives you the satisfaction of genuinely helping your side, without the obligation of being one of the ones who has to rack up most of the kills. In my next episode, I'm going to have a look at the Engineer, the other support class. Then, in a later episode, I'm going to have a look at the Combat Medic's cert line, and what you should be looking to upgrade on this character. In the meantime, have a good one, happy hunting, and Pipe Pot out!